Just hey, guess what we found? Another nothing fancy fan. What's Hi up, there. dude? My name is Dan McClay from Las Vegas. Watch nothing fancy on YouTube. I uh, love it. Get a lot of information about guns on there. Right on. Uh, I can't think of the review right off the top of my head that I just recently watched. I think it was about the 686. I really yeah. liked. Yeah, and, uh, we were just talking about that gun. We're at the Smith and Wesson booth, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm a huge fan of that gun, dude. Oh, I love the 686. Oh, yeah. it's, I just love it, and it really got me back into the revolver mode again. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, and I just did a flyby with the guys on the booth review here, uh -huh. talking about revolvers. There's so many. Yeah. Is there any particular ones you like? Uh, again, I was just I just purchased a 686. So I've just been really I, uh, my friend had one and I went out and shot with him, and I was just so uh, impressed at how well it absorbed the recoil and just yeah. handled really well. It really and, does. Uh, I was watching your review and pretty much uh, elaborated on a lot of the details about it that I really uh, agreed with. You know, that it was just uh, it's a great gun. It's probably the best 57 I've ever shot. I've shot in a lot of uh, different 57s. Thank you very so. much, Kevin. I appreciate support. You bet. It's quality guys like you that motivate me to do this stuff, dude. I, you know, and you, what's funny is I come to these booths and uh, the manufacturers are blown away that this isn't my real job. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> They're like, what? And then they, they, a lot of them know who I am. They've watched my stuff, and they think that it's a full-time gig for me. And they go, "What? You do this part-time?" They're just, you know. Uh, but I'm like you. I'm passionate about this stuff. Oh yeah. And that passion hopefully comes out in the videos. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you this, okay? This is gonna be fun. Let's say I give you an option as a Smith and Wesson representative to take any three pistols home you want today. Which ones are they? Show me them on the wall. Other than, other than the one I have. Yeah, you already have a 686. I would probably Do you have any scoped out over here on the wall? Um, I'd probably, uh, probably the new 327. I, I like the way that looks. Yeah, show me on the wall. Let's go sure check it out, man. Do you know where it's at? Yeah. I gotta aim down because I don't want to film people that don't want to be filmed. And tell me why you like it. You're gonna represent revolver. Yes. Nice. I was just talking about that style. That's a what? How long is that barrel? Do you know offhand? Uh, I don't know. Two a, and a half. Three, two and a half. Somewhere. Maybe three inch. Okay. I'll, yes. I was looking at the 357 model. I'll show you that in a second. What do you like about it, though? Um, I think it's just a good quality 327. I don't know what to say about it. Uh, it just turns you on, then, you're saying, right? Yeah, the, the hammer comes back real easy. How like many that. rounds? Since it's 327, it's going to have one more round than a... I think it's just a six-shooter. Is it? Yep. Okay, six on that one. Yeah. That's because it's that small frame. Nice. And I like it. It's just a little larger than the uh, other ones that you see offered right now. I guess there, there are Ruger has one that's about this size, too. Right. But I, I thought they only had a two-inch barrel for the Ruger. But uh, this one comes with a... It's just, just a little... That's a steel frame one, quality. too, right? I don't see. I believe so. I don't know. Yeah, it is. Uh, you can tell by lifting it. If it's aluminum or Scania frame, it'll be very uh, light. But you know what? If you get a small gun like that, and, and a Scandium or aluminum frame just can't take the pounding of a 327 or worse, a 357. Oh, yeah, yeah. Kind of getting back to what I said in the S Ruger SP-101 review. Okay, so you bought that gun. You have two more to go. Okay. Uh, okay, so he's going home with a model 632 PP. This is Kevin from Las Vegas, nothing fancy fan. This is fun, huh? I, re I really don't know. I wish I had the knowledge you did, so I don't get scoffed at. You, so, too late. You got to go. I mean, and remember, you got a whole wall down here you can pick from. You don't have to go. You can get... I like the 34 night guard. Okay, be careful. It's like three wishes from a genie. You're going to burn a wish on that? Sure. Okay. Model 329 night guard and 44 Magnum Kevin chooses. That's your second gun. Yep. From the Smith & Wesson booth. Now, that is a man's gun, isn't it? Is. It is. If you want to, yeah, nice go. and light, and it's just large. You know, Does it nice give you just frame. a sense of authority when you hold that, Kevin? I just feel, uh, I don't know. I, I like the, uh, I like the larger frame. I don't know. I could, I could, maybe I'm under the delusion that it's going to absorb the recoil because it's not going to. It's light. It's just going to really kick. I'd have to shoot it to know really how it is. But I just, this is the one I was. I kind of looked at and I was impressed by Number two choice, 329 Night Guard. That is an intimidating piece. I just mentioned in my booth review that these are uh, kind of short guns, but they're very large and bulky for a lot of users. Look at Kevin. He's attracted to this gun. Mm -hmm. They love it. You're talking a second type of cool. I don't know why I love it. I just love it. That's an intimidating piece, though. I would not want to be staring down that barrel, would you? No, sir. I would think twice about whatever actions I am pursuing if that's being aimed at me. Yeah. Okay, you got one more choice. Think okay, about it. Yeah. This is your third wish, Kevin. TMP a fan. V here. Which one? Sir, 460V. Uh, 
460. Let me walk down here. Is it, what chambering? 357? Uh, 460. Oh, 460. Go over to the performance center cabinet. Look at the bottom shelf. I would say that is, there's a 500, there's a 460, but that has a long barrel. You're talking about that, but with a regular size barrel, right? I'll take that one home, sell it, and then take the money and buy a 460. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Kevin pulls the trigger on the Performance Center 460 Smith & Wesson. He's going to sell it and use the money to buy a regular 460. You know it. <laughs> wow, nicely done. Okay, there's your three guns chosen by a Revolver fan, TMP fan, Mr. Kevin, nothing fancy. Thank you so much for watching. I can't do it with guys like you, without guys like you. I think you're very representative of the quality individuals that uh, are part of the nothing fancy family. Hey, what's your real name? <laughs> I'll tell you off camera. Okay, we'll see you later, dude. Right on. Ben Fancy out.